Hello, Fern Creek High School graduates. Congratulations on your accomplishments and for reaching this milestone in your life. I know graduation hasn't turned out how you had hoped, and my heart goes out to all of you. I hope I'm able to give you some words of advice that might help you in your future, and I know you have a bright and exciting future ahead. Susan asked me to speak to you today about how to adult, so I thought I'd maybe give you some recommendations on how you might start your own business someday. You see, I own my own company called HiNote. It's a printing and marketing communications company, and we help our clients through a variety of printed communication, direct mail, and signage. I have a business partner, Denise Spaulding, and we started our company 28 years ago. I was 24 years old, and she was 29 when we started. See, we both got started in the industry working part-time through college. We fell in love with the industry. We had passion for it, enthusiasm for it. We began working for a husband and wife in, the, in a small printing company and determined that we wanted to open our own someday. So we set out to do just that. However, we were met with a lot of adversity. We didn't realize that there wasn't too many banks willing to talk to two young females about starting a company. We were not taken seriously by business brokers or banks. We were getting a bit frustrated. A friend told us about a husband and wife that were sell selling their printing company. So we decided to go talk to them and they thought we were just what that business need needs. We had passion and enthusiasm for it. So they owner financed us. We borrowed from our fr friends and family. We mortgaged our, our homes. We used all of our savings. Basically, we went all in for anybody that's a poker player out there. We risked it all, which is what you have to do when you decide to open a company on your own. You've got to risk, be willing to risk everything. So 28 years later, we're still going strong. We have almost 50 employees, and we are a leader in our industry. So I encourage you to dream big. If you're passionate about something, don't hold back. Take a risk. Believe in yourself and go for it. But one of the things you must do is set SMART goals. SMART meaning specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and with a time frame. You see goals, if they're not written down, they're just wishes. The minute you write them down, it's a crucial step in achieving them. It sends a message to your brain that you are committed. It also helps to keep your priorities straight. Another thing that helps is to have those goals written down and visible. Put them somewhere that you can look at them and read them every single day. Second thing I would encourage you to do is find a mentor in the community. No one is successful alone. Find a business group. Join a young entrepreneur group. Talk to a banker. Ask a friend for help. You have to network in the community. It's so important. We belong to several organizations in the community. CEO roundtables, women's leadership groups. I encourage you to do that. Second, capitalize on what makes you unique. One of the things that made us unique was we were a women-owned business in a male-dominated industry. So we became a nationally certified women business enterprise. This really helped open opportunities and doors with companies, large companies such as UPS and American Red Cross, who want to spend dollars with minority and women-owned businesses. I'd like to close on a thought from a short, powerful book I read. It's called 212 Degrees. Did you know at 211 degrees, water is hot? You add one degree to that, 212 degrees, and the water boils. And with boiling water comes steam. Steam that's powerful enough to fuel a locomotive. Raising the temperature by just one degree means all the difference in the world. It reminds us that seemingly small things can make tremendous differences. 212 degrees is not only a message of action, it's a message of persistence and additional action. Now you have a target for everything you do, 212 degrees. There's really no real secrets to success. Success in anything has one fundamental aspect in its effort. To achieve exponential results requires additional effort. One degree is all it takes, again, to power that locomotive. Take courses, extra courses, read books, take action, and commit. Then, when you're ready for exponential results, apply that extra degree of effort. 
from this day forward, commit to operating at 212 degrees in anything and everything you do. Etch it into your thinking, into your being. Apply it to your actions, and I guarantee you'll increase your results. Focus is also critical to success in business, so make every moment count. So like I said, go to work, read a book, find a mentor or a coach, do something different. I challenge you to turn up the heat. And again, congratulations and good luck in the future. Thank you.